want to parallel compress the acoustic guitar because I want a bit more weight to that. We are going to go straight for a just a stock Logic compressor. You can't go wrong with these. Let's just do a Studio VCA. Actually, we're going to slam it because it's parallel, isn't it? One time we... And I obviously want to EQ that because loads of low ends coming through there. And maybe just take the top off a little bit, otherwise we're going to get all the uh, clickiness of the guitar, which might clash with the vocals. There's a bit on that that is bothering me. So I want to take out some bit more low mids there. It's a little bit too much. All right, bear in mind, this is obviously a very quick mix. Let's blend the parallel compressed guitar send into the main one. So what's that? what that's doing is, because I've EQ'd the low end out, and a little bit of the top end. It's just putting that middle, those middle frequencies on the acoustic guitar to really give it some body. Just bringing that into the mix underneath everything. And obviously it's quite compressed. So that's just gonna be a reasonably consistent sound underneath. And then on the lead channel, we're gonna get the attack of the guitar. And what I always do is try the uh, EQ either way round. Obviously taking frequencies out is gonna affect how the compressor reacts. EQ after. So you can hear the compressor's really working there. And it's working a little bit less um, with it after, but I think it sounds a bit more natural, so let's leave that as it is. Time, we used to shine like the night sky like exploding suns up there so bright We never knew all right, that guitar's a bit hot in comparison, isn't it? Let's take, let's take the parallel send back a bit. One time we used to shine like the night. Probably just needs more compression because it's the peaks that are bothering me there. Let's put on that eight to one. One time we used to shine. 